Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Katera Gottby, and I'm a licensed realtor serving Georgia and South Carolina, specifically the Augusta, Georgia, and surrounding areas. Now, before we get started, talking about the topic for today's video i want you to go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button so you know the next time i drop my next video because i know you're going to find value in the content that i give you on today so in today's video we're going to talk about things to do in grovetown georgia now grovetown is a very popular and common city that i have people contacting me about weekly uh, to relocate or move to especially our military community but of course in moving to any area I have that question of what is there to do so let's talk about a few things that you can do out in Grovetown Georgia let's get into this video Now, Grovetown is not a huge city, but it is up and coming and they are continuing to grow daily with the number of people that we have relocating to this area. Now, a lot of the activities that they have there to do are going to be family friendly activities. And of course, there are always people coming in, investors coming in, businesses coming in opening up new things for the area but these are just a few things that most of our residents in Grovetown are doing yearly weekly or just any day of the week so the first place that people like to go to is going to be Uchi Park. Now this is a 10 and a half Greenway Trail where a lot of people like to go walking. Um, they have a park out there. They have picnic tables and the trail, of course, it's 10 and a half miles. So it stretches for a long, good amount of Grove Town. Now, Yushi Park is not the only park they have. There are a number of other parks and playgrounds within the Grove Town area, but this is the one with the largest trail and scenery of greenery as you're walking along. It also has a variety of paths, so it doesn't matter the level of hiking experience you have. There's a path for each level of experience. The second thing to do in Grovetown is going to be to visit Active Climbing Augusta. Now this is an indoor rock climbing facility. It is an 18,000 square feet facility and they have 30 feet tall rope climbing. And within this facility, you can take a group, you can take your children. They also host birthday parties. They have classes that teach you how to strengthen yourself so that you're able to climb. And they also offer a summer camp as well. The third thing to do in Grovetown is going to be to visit the Columbia County Fair. Now the Columbia County Fairgrounds are out near Patriots Park in Grovetown. They have two fairs, so they have one during the spring season and one during the fall season. It normally runs for about one full week, so it will start on a Friday and it will end on the next Sunday. It's normally around $35 to $40 admission depending on what day of the week you go. And it's a lot of fun. They have great food, they have great shows and entertainment, and a lot of vendors. So definitely something that you want to do if you live in Grovetown or if you're visiting during the spring and fall season when it happens to come to the area. Now, the fourth thing to do in Grovetown, which is one of my favorite things, is going to be to visit Pelican Snowballs. Now, this is a cute little spot that offers shaved ice snowballs. They have over 100 different flavors. They have outdoor seating. And it's just like a nice little family fun thing to just go out there and have a nice cool treat during our terribly hot and miserable summers. So definitely go and visit and have you a, a nice icy out at Pelican Snowballs. The fifth thing to do in Grovetown is going to be visit the Lights of the South. Now, Lights of the South is actually only a seasonal activity. It's only during the Christmas time, but it is a light attraction. So it's about a mile and a half of just different Christmas lights displays. 
And these displays are created using about 5 million lights. So it's a very nice and pretty thing to go out and see during the Christmas time. You can walk through the attraction or you can take a like a hayride and ride through it. Out there they also have hot chocolate, they have apple cider, they have Miss Claus Kitchen where you can get small food items they have a playground for the kids it is normally of course cold during that time but it's a great family fun activity to do during the holidays and a lot of people just about everyone even those that don't live in Grove Town definitely ride out there to see that attraction every year it starts around mid-november and it runs all the way to the end of december and admission is normally somewhere around twenty dollars now the sixth and final thing to do in grove town is definitely going to be to visit seed dairy farm now this is a former dairy farm turned into a family friendly and fun agricultural experience now out at Steve's Dairy Farm, they have a corn maze, they have a petting zoo barn where they have cows out there, they have hay rides for the kids. Throughout this time, they offer where to school, they um, take field trips out there so the kids can go out and enjoy. They host a military appreciation weekend. You can just go out there on the weekends and just take your family and just kind of walk around and just enjoy natural agricultural experience. And of course, see if you can get through the corn maze. Now, Steve's Dairy Farm is also a seasonal attraction. It's only open during the fall season and it opens around the end of September and it goes through about mid-November. But definitely a good experience, especially for the family and the kids. Everyone always loves it. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. Go check out my playlist on other videos that I've done on Grove Town so you can get more information on why everybody likes to live in the Grove Town area. Now, if you have not experienced any of these things, make sure you get out this weekend and go experience those things or make sure you tell someone about them. And if you're coming to the Grove Town area, make sure you save this video so you know exactly what to do once you get there. If you have any questions or if you need more information about the Grove Town area, if you're looking to relocate here, of course, I am your point of contact. Be sure to contact me by phone or email so I can help you and your family settle here in the area. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button so you know the next time I drop my next video. And make sure you're following me on other social media on TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram at Katera the Realtor. Until next time, I'll see you soon.